though it pulls on my battery a lot <laughs> I have to get one uh, video of via Misty because it is pretty amazing I actually prefer via Gregoriana but, uh, oh hold on before I go down um this is the actual house with all these amazing frescoes and sculptures inside it's been around for about oh, 500 years or so since the 1500s um and it was uh, i believe a lot of cardinals have lived in it since There's tons of fountains, gorgeous views, gardens, and that's where I'm making my way on down to the garden. <laughs> Jay, I can stop and add another video later. There's some fountains. And this way, I'm making my way on down to that grand fountain down there. <laughs> I'm really curious to see this one. Apparently, they're all over the property. But can you imagine us being your sole property? Yeah. The, the Cardinal. Not even the Pope. I didn't even go to Vatican City. I can only imagine what that's like in there. Look. Hold on. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing what this phone can do, too. I'm telling you, Apple. I give you credit. The fact that I can zoom. And focus while filming. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. It was 10 euros. I thought that was a bit much, but now I understand why. <laughs> I'm sure it costs a lot to maintain these. Oh! Hello, kitty cat. The cat is so not interested in me. Wow. And this is just one part of this entire property, which I will continue to explore. I don't know how much I'm going to videotape. My portable battery is almost dead, and it's only like 2.30, and I want to save my battery for pictures. Yeah, here's the uh, map of the estate. Yeah, tons. Fountain of Pegasus, Grotto of Diana, Fountain of uh, Bicerironi, Fountain of Tivoli, tons of fountains. Fountains of Prosepina, Persephone. But you know what? I will keep recording until I get to this one big fountain. Look at that. On real. A big pool down there. Yeah, next time I come to Tivoli, I'm definitely going to the Terme. Try the um, warm baths here. Uh, if I go, I'll see, I'll get a better view. It's a little step. This is my foot. And there's the view over there. Let's check that out. Yes. I'm just to do it down there. And up there. I'm telling you. I won't mind sitting down for like 18 hours because my legs are tired from so much walking. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
this is more of the property. What I want to note is that this place is really known for its gardens. And as I walked by just now, the smell is just intoxicating. And I've been seeing butterflies today for the first time this season. I saw a few in Via Gregoriana, and I just saw one fly by. Here's the rose garden. It smells amazing. Look at the floor of the ground. What a work of art. Oh. So, on the upper level that it was showing before, there's the fountain and the pool, the amazing view, the cypresses. sculptures. Oh, I just even see the women's legs just it like that. I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe this is supposed to be in there. Okay, so this is going to be all that I'm going to shoot on video um, a Via Desti. This is some sort of grotto over here, but I really wanted to showcase the view from down here. I'm on the other side, and particularly from here, because off in the distance, I'm not sure what those things sticking up are, but I'm pretty sure that's Rome. Look at this view. I mean, honestly, the one where I was last night, the Piazza di Gir Piazza Girobarbi, is uh, just as nice, if not nicer, but you don't have these grounds. And I found a cool bench right over here by those fountain rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna sit my bed down and rest for a bit. It's only three o'clock. Have a couple more hours, and uh. Yeah, I realized this estate wasn't as big, that big. I would have stayed at Via Gregoriana for a little bit longer, but it's cool. After I leave here, I'll probably go back to my sunset spot and enjoy this view. And um, yeah, savor my last hours of Italy. It's an amazing day, an amazing place in Tivoli. Ciao.